So again, you are referring to your mind as an object. Yes, it's personalized, but it's still an object. All of your life we've been doing, all of the life we've been doing that. Unconsciously, we're referring to these three elements, these three phenomena, the body, the mind, and the emotions as an object. What does that indicate to you? If you examine this and you bring your attention to it, and objectifyingly look at it, what does this indicate to you? It, it's indicating that you are referring to something belongs to you, but you're not that thing. You are referring to the body, but you're not the body. And it's in your language you're already saying it, but you're not aware of it. Where we are identified with this body as me, as I. I'm identified with my emotions as who I think I am and my thoughts. But down deep, something inside me is very well aware that neither of them is who I am. And therefore, in language, I'm referring to it as an object that belongs to me. So in my depth, in the truth of who I am, I know I'm none of the three. Because if I was, I would have never said my body. I would have never said my mind. I would have never said my emotions. I would say me, I, always. I could not say it any other way. Me body, me mind, me emotion, me feelings. This indicates that something inside you is already free. Something inside you is aware of something that is transitory and comes and goes. Even it's aware of this I. When you say I, Where is this I? Where is this I when you say I? Where is it? Can you grab it? I mean, you can grab your body, but where do you grab this I that you've been saying it all your life? This idea of who you are, this me, this I, who's very, very invested, we're so invested in it, and is so concerned about the world events, and it's so concerned about its past, and it's so concerned about what's going to happen in future, and it's so attached to all these different stuff. Where is this I? You can't. Let's find it. Let's grab it. Bring it here. I want to meet this eye.
if you disconnect this eye Upon closer inspection, I discovered it doesn't exist. It's non-existing. It's only a thought. And this I, this thought of I that I've been associating with it all my life, has no way of knowing itself independently. It can know itself. The only way it's going to know anyone or anything or whatever is it needs to relate itself to something else. Otherwise, it has no existence of its own. It's just non-existing. It doesn't exist. But to create that illusion that it exists, it has to relate itself and connect itself to something else. Otherwise, if you hold it by itself accountable for a while, you do it for a week, a month, two months, six months, one year, two years, you're really adamant to do that and you will, it will dissolve. It will fall back into the source its source that it came from and you will know for yourself that it's absolutely a non-existing phenomena it's just a thought that's all it is awareness is here awareness has always been here but it's not personalized it doesn't belong to anyone it simply is and it's simply aware of life in this moment happening. And this person that comes and suffers and is seeking the truth and seeking awakening and is struggling to all these things and doesn't like this and doesn't like that and thinks life is not just and life should be different. Life doesn't know what it's doing. I know better. This one only exists by attaching itself to another object. Otherwise, it's really non-existing. It's just an appearance. It appears and then it connects itself to something and then that's it. I know you're a little bit confused, so let me make it easier. Let me give you an example. Throughout the day, throughout your life, you're continuously saying, for example, I like that tree. You look at a tree and you say, I like that tree. I don't like that car. I don't like this new government. I don't like that person. I like this person. So there's an I that relates itself to something, whether it's li like it or doesn't like it. So it connects itself to another object. So there's a subject and there's an object. And that's how this illusory I, that you believe it's your identity and who you are, that's how it knows itself, by connecting itself to something else. I really don't feel good. I don't really agree. I don't, it just attaches this I that you have grown up all your life with. Only exists based on attaching itself to something else. If you sever the connection, 